This is Pipistrel's Alpha Electro. It's an airplane I've flown as a regular light sport airplane with a Rotax piston engine, but this is the electric version. I haven't flown it yet. Looks very interesting though. It's got two batteries, one in the front, just behind the engine, and another just back here behind my seat. Both batteries work together to give you roughly an hour's endurance with a little bit of reserve. The reason Pipistrelle came out with the electric version of the Alpha is because it makes an excellent trainer for close-in work, like takeoff and landing practice. You could spend an hour in the traffic pattern getting a lot of takeoffs and landings at an extremely low cost. All you're paying for is the electricity to recharge the batteries. You have this power indicator here, and it shows how much charge the batteries are at. Once it gets down to 30%, you want to make sure you land. Otherwise, you've got your comm radio, your transponder. One other new thing over here is the battery overheat indicator. You do want to watch the temperature of the batteries. It's very important. It's an excellent performer, climbs more than 1,000 feet per minute, cruises at more than 100 miles an hour, and it's really a delightful airplane to fly. One thing I found with this airplane is you've got these long, thin wings. It's kind of glider-like. It doesn't really want to slow down. There's no speed brakes, so you do have to plan ahead when you're coming into land and slow down to below 55 knots before you get on a final approach. If you don't slow down, you're gonna end up going around. There is a flight school in Fresno, California, and they're running what they call the Sustainable Aviation Project, and they've got four Pipistrelle Alpha Electros that they're teaching people to fly in and trying to prove that an electric trainer like the Alpha Electro is an ideal setup for ab initio flight training. Maintenance costs are much lower. There's no spark plugs that are gonna get fouled with lead from the fuel. You don't have to change the oil. The electric motor lasts virtually forever. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Also, visit AINonline.com and check out our e-newsletters for all the latest on the aviation industry.